welcome back to my channel. It's Karina from Paradium Thrifts. I actually just got back this morning from a little vacation down in Bend. I think I told you guys about that in my last video, but we just got back. We just spent like two days out in Bend and we are home now. I am back to work. I got a few things to ship out, so I thought I'd do a little um, ship with me video because you guys really seem to like it last time. Um, ignore the background. I apologize. I still haven't like gotten this place the way that I want it. I also have a little makeshift desk right here. I just have like the lid from one of my bins um, on top of the trash can. So that's how we're doing this today. Um, I hope that's okay with you guys. But yeah, I figured we would just pack some sales. I didn't have like crazy sales or anything. Um, but I figured I'd hang out with you while I did my shipping today. So um, we're going to start with Mercari because I made about four sales while I was on vacation, which is actually more than usual, but I wanted to share those with you. So I have them all on the floor here. So <laughs> the first thing that sold was an Everlane um, little crew neck sweater. And I know you guys got mad at me last time for doing this, but oh well. Let's see, it was in the tag, so I didn't rip the actual clothing. I got this at Crossroads for um, half off on one of my Portland trips, but it's just this like mesh little crew neck. This sold, this was a size extra small. This sold for $28 minus free shipping. Um, I offer free shipping on everything that ships first class on Mercari. So I didn't make a huge profit on this, but I'm at this point right now where I have more inventory than I've ever had. So once I receive like an offer that I'm at least doubling my money, I'm taking it because I just want to move some stuff out. I've been saying this, um, but I've noticed that I've made some poor, um, sorry, what am I saying? I've made some poor buying decisions and so I have to kind of like deal with that right now hopefully that makes sense but I forgot I'm gonna just pack everything up same as I did last time in these poly mail or these clear plastic bags and I actually made different stickers I'm still trying to figure out like my sticker thing I kind of ran out of like my branded ones so I got to remake those and I'm planning on doing a video explaining how I make those but the stickers that I have right now have my QR code on them somebody pointed out though that people can just like easily throw these away and they won't be able to save them I used to have my QR code on little business cards but I thought people would throw the business cards away now that I'm thinking about it people are more likely to like save a little business card than they would save a sticker that's stuck on a piece of trash right um, so I'm still sorting through all of that and seeing how I want to handle that not sure if it's going to focus on my stickers, but there you can kind of see the QR code and my logo. Um, so I've just been putting these on the clear plastic bags and then putting those in my poly mailer to try to minimize like how much stuff I put into a package. But I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. So it looks like that. And it goes in one of these poly mailers. Um really chatty and just like random i have something that i want to vent about it's i don't know if i'm being petty but i'll i'll, sh I'll share it with you after i share this next sale with you guys but anyway did you guys do anything fun this weekend let me know down below in the comments what you guys were up to this past weekend how were your sales and all of that jazz Okay, I didn't write like what goes on what on the label, so I'm gonna be a little frantic in this. <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. Okay, the next thing that sold, I've had this dress for about a year now, maybe over a year, and I'm really surprised that it didn't sell sooner. Um, so I kind of just took an offer on it because I wanted it out, but it is a Rebecca Taylor little tweed mini dress i think this is so cute but last summer my goodwill 
I'm pretty sure they bought like a palette of stuff from like Nordstrom so there was a bunch of like really nice designer like new with tags new without tags things and this is one of the pieces that I got from that and it didn't sell so kind of sad that it didn't sell for more but it sold for $45 minus free shipping which I paid for um and yeah it took over a year to sell so that's another thing I'm kind of trying to get rid of all the things that I've had for like over a year I don't like storing things so that is um yeah that's what I'm working on as well okay now time for the rant so I bought something on Mercari like last week and it said it was going to come to my house by Friday so before I left for my trip and I was like perfect I'll be able to bring it on my trip but then of course there was a shipping delay and it wasn't coming until Saturday which we were leaving on Saturday I was trying to hope I was hoping that it would like come before we left it didn't so I get the notification that it arrived and I asked somebody that lives in our building to you know keep it for me but I didn't want them to open it um, like I want to open it myself but anyway literally as I got the notification that it was delivered the buyer messaged me and was like hey I noticed that um, it was delivered do you mind rating me and I was like oh I'm not home right now like I will rate you as soon as possible but that kind of rubs me the wrong way like when somebody literally is checking the tracking and is like I mean I know you get notifications but still like if you are so desperate for your money that you're like hopping on and you're like rate me right now it's just like I don't know I don't like that I don't like that vibe but anyway um, I was like, yeah, I'll read it as soon as possible. And then she messaged me again a few hours later and was like, hey, did you get a chance to, um, did you get a chance to rate it? And I was like, I'm away from home and I will rate it as soon as possible. She messages me again. Hey, just wanted to check to see if you had a chance to rate, to, to open the package. And I didn't reply because I'm just like, dude, I told you already, like, I'll read it as soon as possible. And then I don't reply to her, and then she messages again, hello, and I just, like, leave her on read. I'm like, whatever, and then she messages again, just like, I just want to check in. And I'm like, I told you I would rate it as soon as possible. I am away from a trip, but I will be back, like, on Monday, and I will rate it, like, when I get a chance to open it. I'm not going to rate it without, like, checking to see if there's flaws or anything. Like, you got to give me a chance. And she didn't reply back to me. Today, I finally get a chance to open it, but I just like didn't have a good vibe from her, you know, like my experience with this seller wasn't great. The package arrived fine, and I noted that. I was like, everything was fine in the package, um, but the person kept harassing me. Like, you kept, you kept messaging me, and I just like didn't appreciate it. And she was like, you don't need to have such a bad attitude. I have perfect rating, perfect stars. Usually people rate within five minutes of receiving. And I was like, but I told you, like, I would rate it as soon as possible. She's like, it took you three days to rate. And I was like, well, you know, like, Mercari gives you this amount of time. Like, you're allowed this amount of time. Or else, you know, if Mercari wanted you to rate it, like, as soon as it arrived, they wouldn't give you, you know, this whole grace period. But she kept going off on how, like, I was giving her, like, bad vibe. Like, I was giving her a negative attitude. I was extremely rude to her. And I was like, dude, you've been harassing me this whole time. But anyway, I don't know if I'm just being, like, extra. But I just feel like that's not cool. Like, I don't think it's cool for you to continuously ask somebody to, like, rate. Like, that just makes me think that you're desperate, like, for the cash. Which, like, I get. But at the same time, it's like, you gotta give me a chance, man. Like, that's not fair, in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just being too much. What do you guys think? How do you feel about somebody, like, pestering you about accepting your order? Um, I mean, I know I was like that kind of when I first started selling, but, like, you just gotta be patient. That's kind of part of it, right? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to end that rant and we're going to move on. Um, the next thing that sold on Mercari is this Flynn Sky um, romper, which I also bought. Let's see if it has a date on here. It does not. But I'm pretty sure I bought this last year as well because this is a tag from San Diego. And it is this, or maybe earlier, like in the beginning of this year. But it's just this little romper. Flynn Sky is a hit or miss for me. I used to find it a lot in San Diego. And um, it doesn't seem to have the same resale rate that it used to. 
but this sold for a good, I mean, a decent price. I think it sold for 40, oh, sorry. It sold for $38 um, minus the shipping fee, which I paid out of pocket. So yeah, all of these I paid shipping out of pocket, but I'm not mad at this sale. This was a decent sale. It did take quite a bit, but that's okay. Speaking of, since we're doing Mercari sales right now, um, I do want to bring up this new kind of like course. It's the Mercari Club by Rebecca the Reseller. Um, I recently joined it and I took all of the um, classes so far. It has been such a great tool for me to refer to when I'm cross-listing onto Mercari. It is powered by Vendu. So if you don't use Vendu, I think you can still gain um, information and like good tips from the course but it does focus on like using vendu to cross list um but rebecca the reseller she is a great 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 source of of information for resellers she has her own youtube channel which i will also link down below but she started the mercari club which is similar to like the thread up club where she shares everything that sells on mercari for her to give you guys and other resellers like an idea of what you should be cross listing um, but ever since I kind of adapted her method of, you know, cross-listing on to Mercari, I've definitely seen an increase in sales. So that is awesome. Mercari is definitely my second favorite platform to sell on after Poshmark just because it's so easy. Um, and I feel like I get more sales on there than any other platform. So if you guys are interested, I do have a discount code down below. You guys can check that out to sign up for Rebecca the Resellers and Mercari Club. Um, and also if you guys want to check out Vendu, um, I'm, I don't have an affiliate code yet, but I can try to scoop one up and see if I can find one and link that down below as well. I'm definitely liking Vendu a lot more than List Perfectly. Um, I just feel like it's a lot easier to use. And yeah, um, I was thinking of making a video, like kind of comparing the two, but not sure yet if I'm going to do that. Let me know down below which one you guys use. Do you use List Perfectly or Vendu? Because they're definitely different there's definitely pros and cons to both of them um i wish i could like take all my favorite things from both of them and like put them into one that would definitely be like <laughs> obviously that would be what i would want like for example is perfectly you can um cross this onto shopify and vendu doesn't have that i just opened my shopify store um which you can also shop down below but i can't cross list onto shopify with vendu so that kind of sucks I'm debating if I want to keep both just for that, um, but I don't know if I want to spend that much money. Um, is that it for my Mercari sales? I think there's one more. Okay, there's one more. Um, this is a Free People Thermal. Okay, it's already packaged up, so I don't want to take it out. I'll try to put a picture up here. It is the Newbie Thermal, and it... Sold for $27, which is not a lot. I bought this on ThreadUp's outlet, I believe. Um, so it was just kind of like a quick flip. I feel like a lot of free people, like everybody is saying, is oversaturated. There are definitely some pieces that still sell well, but especially like the older styles aren't selling for too much right now. So that is my last Mercari sale. And now we are going to move on to Poshmark. I didn't make any sales on any other platforms. It was just Mercari and Poshmark this weekend. I made two sales on eBay actually, but they haven't paid yet. So I didn't want to share that just in case, you know, it goes unpaid. Um, but let's turn on my Poshmark so I can see. Okay. I'll do this one first because I feel like it was one of my most recent pickups. If you guys saw my last video, I picked up these Aloe Yoga leggings and I didn't realize that I picked them up. Like I remember I grabbed them, but I didn't realize that I didn't like leave them <laughs> when I went to go um, pay. So I ended up buying them and I paid up for them a little bit. I paid $18, but they sold already and I doubled my money. So they sold for $45 after fees. I was left with $36. So I exactly doubled, and that's fine. Um, I think that's what I was kind of expecting out of this. Uh, so I'm not mad at that, and it only took a few days. I was in a little bit of a bidding war with this buyer. They tried to lowball me, but I kept doing like the only, like the dollar off, the dollar off, and they finally accepted. So I sold it for what I wanted to. I actually had two instances. I don't know if it's any of these sales. Um, but 
I think last week I had two instances where I got like super low ball offers on two separate items, two separate buyers. I just straight out declined them, like I didn't even counter anything. And then they came back and purchased the item full price, which was crazy. Um, I feel like that never happens to me. So that was really exciting. But um, I tried it again and I just got like crickets, of course. That's always what happens. Sorry, I'm gonna have to go through each single like thing because I didn't write down who bought what. Okay, this next piece, I picked this up a while ago and I thought this was gonna sell a lot quicker and for more money, but it didn't, unfortunately. And I think this is really cute. It's Eileen Fisher, which I don't pick up a lot of, but I really liked this style of jacket. It's kind of like a little utility jacket in this like burnt orange which is perfect for fall. Um, but this sold for $35. I accepted an offer from a buyer and I just wanted to kind of get it out. It's like the perfect time for this jacket fall and I think that the buyer will really enjoy it. But this wasn't like a huge profit either. I think I like doubled my money on this as well which isn't what I'm aiming for, but you know, it happens. So this week, um, since I just got back from vacation and I haven't been feeling like super pumped about YouTube, I decided that I'm going to do a video every day this week because I used to do that a lot when I was like on my way to get monetized and then I kind of just like fell off once I hit that goal. Um, and so I'm trying to give myself like a new goal to aim for and I feel like if I just get myself back into that creative mode and that creating mode, um, I will kind of like figure something else out. So I thought I would do a video every day this week and they're all going to be like pretty simple videos. Like this one is so much fun to make because it feels like I'm just chatting with you guys. I have a, a haul for sure tomorrow and then... Um, just some other video ideas that people have been asking me to make. I'm going to hop on that. But if you guys have anything else that you want to see from me, let me know down below. I have a few collabs coming out soon, like starting next month, that are going to be a lot of fun. So if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel and like what you guys are seeing, definitely hit that subscribe button down below so you can stay tuned for um, all of the other videos that I will be putting out. Honestly, I know I probably look like a hot mess, like not being super organized and everything, but that's just like the reality of it. This is what it looks like when I re when I am packing my sales and there isn't a camera around. It's just a hot mess. You should see the floor. It's it's all trash <laughs> and everything, but you know, that's the life of a reseller. I feel like I don't know, making like the ship with me videos that are super cute and like organized, like they are very cute and I admire them a lot, but that's just like not me. That's not how I do it. Um, so I feel like this is more authentic. This is a little bit more raw for you guys. Okay, next piece. I can't believe this sold since like it's super cold outside, but it is this um, Magi, Magi little bikini bottom. This only sold for $12. Um, so I think this was a bad buy on my part, uh, but you know, it's one of those brands that you think it's a good brand, but it's not, or maybe just this piece isn't. Uh, so yeah, this is interesting. I actually just bought like a bunch of swimwear that I will be unboxing for you guys this week. So we'll see how that goes since it's not really swimwear season anymore. Um, but that's just what happens when I see a good deal and I can't pass up on it. It's probably one of my biggest flaws. Okay, here is another piece that sold on Poshmark. This is a Daydreamer little band tee. Um, where did I buy this from? I think I bought this from a boutique by the box, which I love their selection of boxes, but their prices are so high. I just, I can't like bring myself to buy anything else from them because like majority of the things that I want to buy from them are like $20 a piece. To resell, that's a little bit high, especially since I don't know exactly what pieces are gonna I'm going to be receiving. Um, so like they have a Show Me Your Moo Moo box and they have a... Jet Set Diaries slash Style Stalker box that I would love to buy if it was a little bit cheaper but at that price point I just I can't pull the trigger because 
it's just way too much i mean i don't mind paying like 20 dollars if i find something that has a really good resale value myself but buying you know 20 dollars a piece for like essentially a mystery box it's just not i've learned it's not the best decision for me and my business i feel like maybe if you're buying it like for yourself obviously it's a great deal or maybe if you know what's inside and they're like not super saturated then that would be good as well but you know a lot of the like new tags wholesale boxes that these wholesale companies are selling are oversaturated on Poshmark because everybody's selling them so I don't know that's why I haven't been buying too many like wholesale things it's just not the move for me right now wow I am like almost out of poly mailers I feel like that's like the fastest I've ever ran out of poly mailers which is probably a good thing because that means I'm making lots of sales but I gotta buy more so hopefully that one brand that was sold out last time is available all right so the next item that i have is already packaged up so i'll show a picture here it's carbon 38 which is one of my favorite athletic wear brands to resell because they usually sell for a good amount this one didn't sell for too much but it's over 45 dollars um let's see did i offer a shipping discount no so these um sold i think my best offer um but it took a few weeks for them to sell not super long if you find this brand it does amazing i've sold some i've sold a few pieces from them i don't find it too often but um the quality is great it has a great following as well so keep your eye out the person i don't want to out them but i just think it's kind of funny their username on poshmark is spandex sin um like S-Y-N, but I think that's funny because they just bought like leggings, like spandex leggings, and their name is spandex. <laughs> Sorry, random. Okay, next thing, I feel like I shared this in the last ship with me video, but I bought like a whole bunk, bunk? A whole, I, I cannot speak. I bought a whole bulk of like free people bralettes and I've just been selling them slowly. I recently just relisted a whole bunch of them um because my prices were super low like this one sold for 13 dollars but that's still okay i tripled my investment on that but i just relisted them all for like 30 and up to see if i could get any higher offers on them um but i wish the supplier that i bought these from had more they don't have any at the moment but i would definitely be down to buy another bulk of that because they sold pretty well and it's just a good piece that people can like bundle with a bunch of other things. And they come like brand new in packages so there's like no issues with them. Actually that's a lie. I sold one and I didn't even open it because it was like brand new in packaging and then the customer opened it and like the strap was broken. So I just accepted the return. But yeah, I feel like I saw a post on Facebook Marketplace that was also saying that they bought free people wholesale from like another supplier and just the quality of it was so bad there were like holes and like loose threads and um i wonder if it's like you know how like nordstrom rack the things that are sold at nordstrom rack are like lesser quality um i wonder if that's kind of the case with some of this free people wholesale because i've definitely noticed some people that i buy it from it's just like doesn't seem like it's free people like it seems like it's like forever 21 or something something not super I don't know not worth the price tag in my opinion okay this next piece I will show a picture of as well this is my first time finding this brand I was so excited because I actually never look in the scrubs so I probably never would have found it but I just got like an inkling to go look in that section at the thrift store this one day and I found it it was this figs um, scrub top it sold fast but it didn't sell for a lot it sold for $25 um, so I earned $20 after Poshmark fees um, but yeah I was really excited to find this brand because I feel like it's a favorite or like a really popular brand um, but yeah I'll still keep my eye out I'll still pick it up since it was such a quick flip I don't mind um, sourcing it I don't know I'm still just really torn between like quick flips and um, you know big profit margins i feel like i just need to find like a really good balance of the two okay i don't have too many sales left i think i have like four um 
But this was an item from my consignment client. It is this John Varvado, Varvados belt. I was trying to find like a little box to put it in, but this, anyway, this sold for $40. I had never heard of this brand before until I was like getting the items from my consignment client. I was happily surprised to see um, the retail value on this brand. Um, so now I know like if I'm sourcing and I find it, then I will definitely pick it up. But this sold pretty quickly. It was, yeah, sold for $40. It was an offer from buyer. So I just took that super quick. I'm gonna have to find a box for this, so I'm gonna set it off to the side because I can't find it right now. <laughs> but the last few sales I made are just um, some more women's clothing. This one is a Unif t-shirt. Um, I got this in a box of inventory from one of my PFFs, Mimi. She sells them through Instagram. I will link. I will show her Instagram handle right here. For some reason, I can't think of it off the top of my head. But this was in my box, and it got so many likes on it. I had it listed up for like fifty dollars. It got like over forty likes, and now um, it barely sold for twenty-five dollars, which is kind of interesting. But I still made a pretty good profit on it, and it's out of my closet. I used to go to warehouse sales in Orange County when I lived in San Diego and one of the brands that they carried was Unif and I remember I went and I bought like I only had like $500 at the time or something like that like $300 or $500 I spent all of it at the warehouse sale and I posted like a preview of it on Depop and somebody messaged me like a person who had purchased from me in the past and they were like I will buy all of it and I hadn't even like posted what it was, but they were like, I'm gonna buy all of it from you. And it came out to like almost like $1,200 for all the pieces. And that was me selling it for like quadruple my cost. And that was like the biggest sale I've ever made to this day, my best sale. So Unif holds a very dear piece in my heart. I also know that some of the pieces still sell for really well. So um, definitely check comps if you find it in the store. Some don't sell that well. Obviously like this one, $25 isn't a huge sale, but I'll take it. The next thing that sold are a pair of Madewell jeans. They're new with tags and they are the like exposed button fly 10 inch high rise skinny jeans. Um, I got these at Goodwill and usually like around this time of year my goodwill just gets like flooded with madewell jeans um but these are what they look like and i've noticed that the resale value of madewell has definitely gone gone down like i pretty much stopped picking up any madewell besides these jeans and um besides like the high rise um button fly or like any trendy jeans because those typically sell well but even these like aren't selling for as much as they used to which is kind of sad but that just means i gotta pivot a little bit in my business and maybe stop picking them up for so much uh, because my goodwill has definitely or like goodwills in general in uh, the pacific northwest have definitely caught on and know that madewell is like sought after so i can pay up to like anywhere between like 12 to 25 dollars for a pair of madewell jeans at my thrift store um so yeah i definitely have to be a little bit more picky or just say no which is difficult for me to say no in a thrift store but we're working on it <laughs> what is a brand that you used to pick up all the time and now you like don't pick it up anymore let me know there's a bunch for me i could i could go on forever on a list of things that I used to be so excited to find in the store and now I'm just like I would never pick you up I wouldn't touch you with a 10 foot pole okay and my last sale for you guys today was I feel like this is the only full price sale that I got um, I mean like literally this was the price that I listed it for and this was the first time that I listed it and it sold right away which was very surprising I got this in my Jomar advanced cpr box and i wasn't familiar with the brand so i decided to send it into the real real it did not get accepted it got sent back to me and i was just kind of like iffy about it because i don't personally like this style i hadn't heard about this brand so i was just like uh maybe i'll like send it into thread up or donated it but i decided to list it and it sold for 50 dollars full price it is this tucker um 100 silk blouse now i know i will look up comps if i find it in the store because that was definitely a pleasant surprise to sell it for that much 
um, and I had like no idea about this brand. So, goes to show you that just because you don't personally like something doesn't mean that it won't sell for a lot. And don't, I don't know, don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge. <laughs> I mean, the, the top is cute. It's just not my style. It's my style, but it was a size large and it was 100% silk. So there were definitely factors for it to sell pretty well. But yeah, very, very happy with that sale. So that is it for my sales that I made while I was on vacation. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and listening to me rant about random stuff. But I guess that's it. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another video and all this week. So like I said earlier, if you guys haven't subscribed already and you want to watch more of my content, just hit that subscribe button down below and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.